The reason to do this is, as I said, one is we never learn from one procedure. And two, by giving us a more controlled setting, we can study this in much more detail and in much more depth than would be otherwise possible in a human. Because you can't keep subjecting a live human to you know repeated procedures at all hours of the day. We did this transplant exactly the way that we would do um, a human organ transplant. In other words, we sent a team to where the donor was, in this case, it was a pig, and um, brought the heart back. It was over a thousand miles away and sewed it in and did everything just exactly the way that we would uh, do a regular transplant without using an experimental um, pump you know, device or experimental oh, yeah. drugs. You know, when we took the clamp off and we restored blood flow to the heart and when it started beating, I've done this for 20 plus years. It was just unbelievable. I mean, it's just like you stand there in awe. You know, it's, this is not a one and done situation. This is going to be years of, of learning, you know, what's important and what's not important for this to work. We're excited just like everybody else is that finally um, there's some forward movement in this field. Um, and I think we're gonna see clinical trials even sooner maybe than we thought.